Okay, lovely people, knife skills, really, really important. Life is short, you normally eat three times a day, you probably cook a lot of meals in your life and sit there clanking around, taking lumps of your body off and like just being slow and rubbish, not good. So let's get you good at it. So there's four things in front of me right now. A small paring knife, nice little darling here, great for sort of little preparations, nipping things, slicing herbs, a really good all-round knife, right? Everyone needs one, an essential, okay? Now, not, not so really all-round knife, but this is a um, carving knife. You can use it for carving uh, meats and stuff. It does leave a little bit of a line, but it doesn't really bother me. But most importantly, you've got the teeth in it, the serrated, sort of jagged dagger edges. It's a really good um, sort of all-round carving knife there. And then the knife that you're going to use 90% of the time, right? An 8 to 10 inch chef's knife. Absolutely brilliant well balanced, nice grip. You've got that thick kind of base here and that base is also thick here. So with little chicken legs, you can just nick them off, uh, you know, and just literally break bones and bits and pieces like that. Um, you've got that nice thick edge here. So that's what you need. We've got the sharpener here. Every time you use a knife, bottom to tip, bottom to tip. Just do it once on each side. Okay, there's three methods of chopping that I suggest you learn, okay? And that'll get you out of 99% of stuff. This first method I'm gonna teach you, the cross chop, is brilliant. Because hands and fingers are like this. There's no weight on the knife. And that is very, very easy, right? It's safe. No fingers, no limbs, no body parts anywhere near this knife. And then when you're chopping things, Use it almost like a dustpan and brush. Let's, for instance, hack up this onion. Let's just cross chop. So it's bad, it's hacking it, right? But then you keep going through it. And then you're kind of, it's almost like a, a food processor. It's gonna get fine eventually, right? But it's falling off. So then you sweep it up and you put it in the middle. This is quite a slow way of doing this, but it is efficient and it is safe. Right, you might see people doing that. Never, ever, ever, ever do that. Always fingers like that. I've seen people take their fingertips off if they do that, okay? Don't do it. Hands like that. So, let's just get rid of that. So I'm gonna go straight in to tap chopping. The idea is that I put my thumb here and I put my fingers here and my fingers are tucked in and I pull my fingers as I'm cutting all the way down and then I redo it and all the way down, okay? If you forget your thumb and it comes out, you're gonna cut that off as well, and I have. We all have, but I didn't have anyone telling me how to do it. So, my, the top of the knife is feeling that, that finger, but not, obviously it's, it, it knows where it is. I'm not bringing it up beyond here. You never ever bring this blade beyond the point where your finger goes in, okay? So never higher than there, right? Slowly. As I'm slicing, Now, you're going to go slow to start with, and then you can start to sp pick up the speed to the point where it doesn't matter anymore, okay? Now, the reality is that because I know where my fingers are, because I know what's happening until this point, at this point, I've got wobble again. See, because I'm getting towards the end of the courgette. What do you do when you've got wobble? On a flat surface. Wobbling? No, right? But then you can stop again until then, and you're wobbling again. Then you go flat surface, right? So chopping is all about non-wobbly veg, right? You're in control of that. So let's just have a little go on this chilli. That's a rock chopping. Chilli's perfect for rock chopping. Let's change the angle. Let's show you it like this. If you look at this chilli now, it doesn't matter if I'm going slow or fast. Notice fingers in. Thumb pulling the fingers towards it. That little edge of my finger controlling where the blade's going. At no point does that blade ever go near a finger. It's vulnerable now, so then we're much, much more careful. And then we finish. That's a chilli. Practice makes perfect. If your fingers are always out of the way, you can't chop them off. It's a really good craft. It's like learning to write. It's like learning to talk. It's like learning to ride a bike. Uh, it makes your cooking so much quicker. And for the show-offs out there, you can style it out. Good luck.